Tidal Green, what are y'all's views on the new deal with Google through the NFL? Uh, I didn't read all of it. I just saw where I think they said Sunday Ticket is going to be on YouTube. Basically, like YouTube TV. Okay. Was I think that- it's amazing. Yeah, I'm cool with it, Because man. YouTube TV is a really nice app. Mm-hmm. One of these uh, suggestions that I saw on Twitter, I think it was from Bill Simmons. Mm-hmm. This is this is an amazing suggestion. I hope YouTube All TV right. or Google takes them up on this. They need to provide an option on Sundays, the 1 o'clock games or the 4 o'clock games, where you can manually pick four games to fit on your screen, like formatted that way. And then you can also have whatever audio for the one of those kind of like how being the when main you're one. watching ESPN on like PlayStation or, or Xbox, you, you can like red split up the screen and stuff. Think Red Zone whenever they do the Octo Box or like the Four Box, yeah. full time for like whatever four games that you want to gotcha. watch. Okay, I think it's a genius idea. Okay, hope they do it. I mean, Google. I, I feel like Directv was just terrible. I, I tried that one year. It's pretty garbage, but. See that's that's why I'm I feel different. like Google, YouTube, <laughs> all that's like innovative enough that they could take maybe some of what Amazon's been doing mm-hmm. even too. Like I, I really like their broadcast yeah. and how they have three different options. The one's in Spanish, the other one. I'm not not saying I use them. Right. I just but I, I still use though. the main broadcast, yeah. but just to have that and then yeah. the next gen stats on the other broadcast yeah. and some of it is the film tape. I mean, because I'm sure cool. some people like that. Absolutely. For me, I'm like opposite. I'm I'm so like old school. I love my direct TV version where I could just watch my one. Like, obviously, I have, like, the Sunday ticket, but I like to just watching one game at one time when it's a commercial. I'm going to turn to the next one. I wasn't a Red Zone guy. That's all. But even, like, because even with, like, the video game, and that's why I said the Xbox, because I think of, like, when I would stream or uh, watch some of the games on, like, ESPN and ESPN Plus, stuff like that, you'll have, like, the four different things. I'm always, like... Man, I want to see everything. I want to hear everything on this game. I don't want to just have to look in that box. But that's why I said I'm old school like that. But I definitely know that it is a good amount of people that do feel that way as well, though, in terms of, like, multiple screen stuff. So, yeah. I mean, as long as it's an option, I don't think it's nothing wrong with it. I don't think I've done it that much this year. Maybe only one time earlier in the year. But, yeah, usually in in the past, especially whenever I was playing fantasy football, Mm -hmm. Steeler game on the main screen and then like yeah. on my laptop or something. Yes, just, have, just have like red zone to the side. Got you. For sure. And then yeah. when the Steelers, like I think there was during the bye when the Steelers weren't playing for those one o'clock games and yeah. four, I just had red zone on the All main way. TV the yeah. whole time. I like it. Because that does give you like the sports bar vibe too though. So yeah. Yeah, it just gives yeah. me what I need. Yeah. Get y'all little, All right, I got this game over here. That one over here. For yeah, sure. like uh, this is an exciting point in this game. We'll take you over to it. Yeah. Get that for one or two minutes. Oh, wait. This team's in the red zone or pick right here. Take you over here. Yeah, See, once, I mean. It's, it's funny. You, you like that. That draws me nuts. I'm like, bro, I need context. I want to know everything that's happened on this drive. The dude <laughs> that hosts it, he calls it the witching hour. Once yeah. you get into that point, I think it's between like 345 or like 415 uh-huh. when all those one o'clock games are ending. Yeah. It's just pure insanity sometimes. I mean, oh, think man. of some of these overtime yeah, games. Yeah. ones just, that go down the stretch. And then, and then, you're just yeah. getting all of it. It's like crack. Yeah. I, I'm definitely a one screen dude. Like. <laughs> When I when when it switches from the game, I'm like, bro, stop it! I'm watching this one. If I want to watch that, I'll turn to that one, man. Like, stop interrupting me, man. Like I said, I'm Do you so switch old during school. commercials at all. It depends on the game. If it's a Steeler Bills game, no, because I don't want to miss any part of it. I'm with you on. But that. if it's like if I'm just watching like a regular like one o'clock or four thirty, yeah, I'll be flipping. Yeah, if it's a commercial, I'm gonna go to the next one. But I won't flip in the series though. Like, when the series starts, I don't care how trash of a series, how bad, like, wow. I'm going to watch that series. Yeah. Because okay. I want to know what happened, why it worked out, or why it didn't work out. And then after that, all right, I'll turn. Yeah. 